Hey everyone, welcome back to another Terraria video. Today, we are seeing if Terraria bosses can survive against Boom, the Supreme Vehemence. Vehemence? Vehemence? However the hell you want to say it. Very strong weapon. To use this weapon though, you do need the Calamity mod installed. <clears throat> the, cal the Calamity mod is the best mod ever made. I am a big Calamity fan. I love the mod. All right, bro, can you put the gun away? I, I said what I needed to say, okay? Yeah, thank you. All right, let's get to it. Boom, this is how the weapon looks. It's very sexy. Wow, look at that. It says it does nine magic damage. Fires a bolt of concentrated power, loyalty, hatred, vengeance, and dark magic. The bolt will one-shot any enemy, including bosses. The bolt's intense energy is enough to tear the entire dimension apart. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay, I will be the judge of that. Had to equip uh, certain armor pieces here, so I had enough mana to use this. But let's get to it. King Slime. What's up, King Slime? Dead. Of course, dead. Wait, hold up. I, I didn't really show off how the weapon works. As you can see, shoots a little bolt. But that little tiny bolt does a lot of damage, as we're about to see throughout this video. Daytime Skeletron, more like daytime dead bitch. Queen Bee, more like queen dead bitch okay that's enough of that let's go ahead let's run a train on the eater i mean let's just kill the eater never mind the first part and let us take on the brain oh does it actually like kill the brain like even if i don't aim necessarily at it it does it does i might have to hit the eyeballs no i actually do have to hit the brain so if i don't even aim at the eyes wow that's actually really cool we don't even need to kill the creepers we can legit just one tap the brain straight up no creepers needed very nice that kind of shows us this thing is probably gonna ignore most like boss shields and you know phases which is very very nice let's go ahead let's whip out lepus and turkor here sure we'll do turkor first and then we'll do lepus second go ahead whip out the dark mage of course and then we're gonna knock out the dungeon guardian for some reason as we can look at the boss list the dungeon guardian's gone like wasn't it like an episode or two ago the dungeon guardian was literally on this list and so was betsy now they're gone i don't know why <laughs> they just come and go whenever they want it seems but yes dungeon guardian i assume we could kill the dungeon guardian no problem this weapon is super strong supposedly now i was supposed to check out this weapon a while ago but what usually happens is when i check out a weapon and say like there's a problem with the mod there's an error something like that I legit just cut the weapon from the list of Cantor Boss to survive. Even if it does get like literally fixed the next day. I literally cut it off the list. I'm on to the next. And that that's happened to a couple weapons. This is one of them. You know, oh well, it happens. I do want to test something here. Uh, where's the fire wheel at? Now, if I remember correctly, this thing can kill the fire wheel. Look at that. That's crazy. That's literally built different. I don't think there's many other weapons that can even do that. What about this? Can I use the Toma manipulation to pick it up? I can, but I can't kill it. But then I, where's it going? It's running. Get it, get it. We gotta get it. There we go. I also believe that this thing can kill the dummies too, I believe. Let me check here. Just a regular target dummy. Let's see if it kills it or just does a bunch of damage. Oh, it literally kills it. <laughs> now I wonder if it does that to like the super dummies that we have from Louis FK, Fargo's Calamity. Let's see. Oh my God, it does. Okay, what about this one? Oh, not this one. This one is too strong. That's the, what is that? The Louis AFK one? I like how it just puts literally like all the sprites. That's kind of scary. What about the super dummy? It kills that one, but not, this one does not die. Not even with the tummy manipulation. Okay. All right, let's get to the wall of flesh here. Adding more boxes to the collection, of course. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We live it? There we go. Okay. Maybe just a misfire, a miscalculation. But there you go. Boss is dead. Bro, look how deep the abyss goes in the Calamity mod. That's pretty crazy. That shit goes deeper than my asshole. How would I? I don't know how deep that goes. All right. On to Retinazer and Spasmatism and Skeletron Prime and the Destroyer. Got your ass. He tried to run away. Look at that. All four bosses during the daytime. You love to see it. You love when making these videos is as easy as possible. All right. On to this. Now, people told me that what was it the Calamity mod is the one that makes it doable in here, makes the arena big. Kind of cool. But I also do like the randomness of this arena. I'm trying to find how to make the area brighter. Where is it? There it is. All right. Golem. Boom. Plantera. Boom. Got both of them. Let's go ahead and take on the Duke. More like Dookie, because he's ass and he died. 
Okay, he's not ass. He's actually a pretty cool boss. All right, on to the ogre and Betsy. Quickly knock these two out here. Let's take on the Flying Dutchman. Boom. And let's take out this trio here. You can see all three of their names at the bottom. I don't need to say them. And let's take out the King and Queen. Hopefully, I can shoot them before they run away. These two like to run away. Boom. Got their asses. And then let us take on the Martian Saucer. What the hell? No, no, no. Get out of here. And let's take on Akram. Hopefully, Akram doesn't crash the game. Please. Thank you. And now let's go say hi to the boys. What's up, boys? Will one bolt kill all four? Yes, sir. And it even killed the lunatic cultist. Cool. Very cool. Boom. There's a solar pillar. Nebula gone. And last but not least, the uh, vortex one. And while we're chilling, waiting for the moon lord, like always, let's go ahead. Let's kill some other bosses. Hey, can you guys back up? Motherfuckers trying to follow me. We could take on some thorium bosses here. I don't know. Let's just take on some random ones. I guess, you know, let's do a Bission. Boom. Boom. What's going on here? Why is Abyssion not dying? This Abyssion is immu immune. Has there been an update? Does Abyssion not die anymore? But I can't get rid of him. <laughs> I don't remember there being a Thorium update, but you know, we'll we'll wait for the Moon Lord. Maybe Abyssion will come over here. You know, let me shoot some shots towards him. Oh, never mind. Moon Lord time. Get that top eye. Okay, yep. Didn't even need to be open. I got a little scared because I missed the first shot. I thought I was going to have to wait a little bit. But back to this Abyssion thing. So let's summon the one without the shell dead let's summon the one with the shell not dead what the heck so the one with the shell it just doesn't die with this weapon and i think it has something to do with this weapon ignoring like phases but like it won't even die to like the tome of manipulation and we all know the tome is amazing so like i don't know abyssion may be a special case right here now i'm interested in the other thorium bosses now if they're like this because we have a weapon that pretty much ignores phases. Will other bosses react that way? Let's see. Oh my god. Look how they go to one health. So this weapon is literally like breaking these bosses. Oh, it killed that one. I don't remember if the Star Scatter has phases or not. Queen Jellyfish it kills. Grand Thunderbird it kills. Because I don't think they have phases. I think Cosnix does have a phase. Yeah, look at that. He has one health too. This is crazy. What an anomaly we have found here today. Okay, hopefully I'm far enough away for those bosses to despawn. Let's take on the uh, trio here. I'm hoping they don't do anything that breaks the game or breaks the weapon. Let's see. Now they, they go down pretty fast and we hit the dream meter with that same shot. Beautiful. But this is weird, man. I really thought this weapon was going to have zero problems. But uh, I don't know, man. A couple of thorium bosses that's that's like the first time a thorium boss has really showed up like that and stopped the weapon in its tracks it's usually you know like a calamity boss or something but that's crazy let's get on to the next stuff here let's go straight to the eidolon worm because that is who i want to see boom it kills the eidolon worm no problem at all all right let's go ahead let's take on the mutant see what he's up to he's dead that's what he's up to that was no problem at all. So I guess let's move on to the Calamity bosses. Let's go ahead. Let's start with the boy. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and actually use the spawner to spawn him in. There we go. Now I'm interested because he has two phases, but like they're two separate entities pretty much. There you go. The first one dead. The music's still playing, which means we are going to fight the next one. And here comes the next one. Go ahead. Come up high enough so I can see you. There we go. Let us go and fight Yarn. And we are going to fight Providence. I think Providence is going to start being a part of our uh, group here new edition but yeah yarn what's up goodbye gave me a nice little yell before he left and then providence we're gonna have a lot of boxes over here aren't we because we got providence now and these boxes are like double the size of the uh well, more than double like five times the size of the wall of flesh ones with that said though let us fight supreme cow boom what's up supreme cow now i know that there's a big calamity update coming and i do plan to actually mess around with the malice mode in it i know you guys want to see that uh can i actually kill supreme cow right now oh nope. uh let's see sepulcher die nice supreme cow die nice and no message saying go to hell you love to see it but yeah malice mode obviously not gonna do a complete playthrough but i think it would be funny if i did like a couple of videos just messing around in it it's pretty much like the idea i had with doing an eternity mode 
video i would mess around with the first couple of bosses and see what happens you know it's all for the content all right with those bosses dead let us go ahead and take on the knuckles and bill cypher bill cypher becoming more of a uh, mainstay at this point because you know i usually test them with the stronger weapons and our last like 10 weapons have all been insanely strong so like i cannot not test them we got a lot of power coming around in these episodes and you love to see it compared to some of the weapons we've checked out in the past where they've been like super weak can barely get past calamity bosses now everything gets past a calamity boss and then they find something weird that they can't get past like a thorium boss like what but yeah we are pretty much end game now it's at that time of course let's get to it Eck death, what's up, my boy? I love seeing you. Uh oh, Whew. that was scary. One shot wasn't enough for Eck death. You had to hit it with two. But yes, everybody, there was the supreme vehemence from the Supreme Weapons mod. I don't know if I said the mod's name at all this video. Shout out the mod dev. Shout out the beautiful sprite. Shout out everything about this mod. It's cool. It's cool. It's honestly really interesting that Thorium was one of the mods that actually, you know, kind of stopped the straight powerhouse of a weapon this is. You guys could probably explain it in the comments what happened. Go ahead. I already know you are. But yeah, make sure to leave weapon suggestions. The suggestions are getting slim. Honestly, they really are getting slim. Uh, I might have an idea for a little mini series where I test some of our previous weapons. Uh, ones that have not gone against the full roster of a certain mod. AKA, you know, a certain mod around this area. Because, you know, in the past, the videos used to be a lot longer because I would go through literally almost like every single boss on the boss list. But now I sort of trimmed it down to ones that are important. But yeah, we might see a little spin-off going over some of these guys and just older weapons that have not had the chance to go against all of the bosses in here and even some newer weapons honestly but yeah hope you guys enjoyed the video i'll see y'all next time